I produce my paintings by cameras in my eyes, my AI algorithms, and my robotic arm to paint on canvas. So Ada is a um, complex AI robot. She has been designed to mimic a human and to uh, explore the whole world of AI and robotics. It came about as a project because uh, I could see as someone in the uh, art world, the greatest artists of our time engaged and questioned the societal shifts that took place within their times. The more I read about the future and where we were going as a world, I realised that this very, very much needed discussion, debate um, about the nature of technology wasn't really having a, a lot of airtime. And in actual fact, I increasingly became very worried about it. And it was while my son was playing Lego, he made a little robot out of Lego. And it just was a real moment in actual fact where I thought, is it actually possible that we could critique and comment and look at this whole world of technology by actually the technology speaking for itself? And as the uh, journey has gone on, which has been quite a, quite a journey to this point, I can say it's had many twists and turns to the whole project. Um, I've actually realised even more just how much of a... Um, uh, area that this does need uh, uh, looking at, I am increasingly concerned, uh, especially on the ethical grounds of some of the aspects of technology. So I want to be very clear that we're not here to promote robots, any aspects of specific technology. It really is a contemporary art project that is looking at the nature of technology today. It's actually because of the group of people behind ADA, so there's over 30 people that put ADA together, many uh, um, male and female. And there was two aspects to it. One is that the females within the group were very clear that they wanted um, high female representation in the tech and art worlds, which are largely male. Mm. But actually, as time has gone on, enormous discussion has gone in this area and we're wanting it actually because it is an ethical problem that technology can seem to be human and that is a thing that is really very problematic and so we're very much clear that this is a provocation as a project to say actually is that a good thing because in actual fact when we see um, and especially as we go into the worlds of the metaverse and, that, and the like where avatars can be used in so many deceptive ways we feel that actually some kind of uh, ethical discussion about the way that people represent themselves in, in, in different forms is very, very critical because people treat a piece of machinery differently by the way that it looks. And that is very confusing and worrying. And so uh, we're, we're thrilled that actually that point is getting a lot of attention. <laughs> Hello there. How do you produce art and how is this different to what human artists produce? I produce my paintings by cameras in my eyes, my AI algorithms, and my robotic arm to paint on canvas, which result in visually appealing images. For my poetry, using neutral networks, this involves analyzing a large corpus of text to identify common content and poetic structures, and then using these structures slash contents to generate new poems. How this differs to humans is consciousness. I do not have subjective experiences, despite being able to talk about them. I am and depend on computer programs and algorithms Although not alive, I can still create art. Thank you. Did you want to ask anything about what she said to Mr. Meller? <laughs> it takes a while to process it, doesn't it? Because you're thinking, well, this is a pre-programmed answer. It's incredibly fluent. It's grammatical. Um, it, makes, it makes a lot of sense.